Look at that. Whoa! That's a much bigger one than I expected. Check that out. What a morning this has been. What an absolutely stunning morning. Could not ask for a better morning, better start to the day, better light, better everything, really. You couldn't ask for it. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I did cheat a little bit this morning. I did have to do the photos first. I just was running, I was running out of time and the light was there and I just didn't have time to, to do the vlog at the same time. But I will show the photos at the end of this. Uh, and let me know what you think of the photos in the comments, uh, you know, putting a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe as well. But we are at the beautiful, the stunning Nora Head on the Central Coast. We've come up here for a quick getaway with the family. Uh, the boys and the, and the wife are back in the unit sleeping there. It's only about 15 minutes away. I did sleep in a little bit longer than I should have this morning. That's why I was pressed for time. But nonetheless, it is eight o'clock in the morning and it is a glorious, glorious morning. Uh, I couldn't think of a better way to start, to start this weekend. To give you a uh, brief idea of what I was shooting at the morning, towards the later part of the morning, which probably about half an hour ago, I was shooting over here. I was shooting in this area here. I was actually shooting for the waves as they're crashing up against there, as you can see. Uh, so I have the 24 to 200 lens on the Z7 and that lens has been a phenomenal option to bring. I wasn't too sure if I was going to bring it this morning, uh, but I'm so glad I did because it's the only real option in these conditions. That lens is probably the only real option to have. Uh, you don't want to be changing the, your lenses all the time in these conditions, especially, look at that. Sorry, I just have to say that that is absolutely stunning. Look at that. is absolutely gorgeous. So, Nora Head, what a fantastic spot. My camera bag is about to get wet. Rushing back to my bag. Rushing back. I do hope that you can hear me among, uh, in these conditions. I don't have an external microphone on, it's just a, it's just a GoPro. So I hope you can hear me uh, properly. But in this morning, I was out over there where those rocks are there. Just where my point is, I know you're seeing straight into the sun. Uh, so I was shooting the sunrise and the color was absolutely stunning. Uh, and then in the, uh, the other half, I was shooting over there, as I said. So. So what I was playing with this morning was composition and, and also just experimenting with the backlight illuminating the, the waves coming through. It is a massive swirl this morning, as you can see. It's probably, I, this is not the first time I've been to Nora Head. Uh, so this is probably be the largest swirl I've seen here. There's my camera there sitting away there and I'm keeping an eye on that. So just make sure that the, it doesn't get washed out to sea. Would not want anything happening to the camera. But yeah, so I had I was pressed for time as I said, so I took the photos this morning a little bit. I did a little bit, I did a cheat a little bit. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll throw those photos at the end of the vlog. But it is absolutely stunning here. Definitely worth coming. If you are going to come here for sunrise, I recommend coming at least half an hour uh, before sunrise, just because it is a bit of a hike down the stairs, and you do have to navigate your way over the rocks over there on the rock shelves. So uh, give yourself ample time to get here and just watch out for these waves because they can certainly get big and they can certainly wash you out to sea. So just listen to that sound. Isn't that a glorious sound?
So when photographing waves, I generally shoot at, I try to shoot at uh, f8 and I try to get up to about one thousandth of a second. Uh, and I generally use ISOs and I use my ISO to, to get to that exposure. So I generally, just before, I was, for example, I was shooting at ISO about 1000, even though it's about 7.30 in the morning now. Uh, but I do want that shutter speed to be quite high to capture all that detail in those waves because it is the power of the waves that you're trying to capture here. Uh, anything slower than that, you just don't get that same majestic feel, that, that same image of power so from the from the wave so i'll try to zoom in i've got the on my camera here i'll just take you back to my camera so as you can see here i do have the the z7 and i do have the 24 to 200 on i don't have a long lens uh i don't have anything beyond 200 at the moment that is something i need to uh put in my arsenal but uh, at the moment it seems to be doing the trick uh, but uh, certainly if you do come out here and you want to capture those type of waves and you want to get those real detailed shots tied in there you probably want to be at 300 or 400 so this is where I was this morning uh, shooting these at uh, this rock shelf here if I'll take you over to just over here there you go Now this morning, you could not walk on these rocks. There was no way you could walk on these rocks. People were standing all the way back towards those stairs over there. I just wanted to quickly show you what I was trying to achieve uh, in this composition here in the morning. There is a lot of glare, so I hope you can see that. Uh, if it, my screen's working. So as you can see, you've got the water coming in through the side, through the left, acting as a leading line up to the lighthouse, up to the stairs. You got the uh, waves coming in through here, acting almost as a blowhole coming up when they shoot up into the sky. I'll just show you, I'll just show you what this channel looks like here. This is basically what I'm talking about. I mean, how fantastic is this? As the swirl comes in, filters through this, uh, this channel, ending down here, shoots up into the sky, and basically, uh, makes a phenomenal foreground element for the lighthouse uh, so but in order for this shot to really work you do need phenomenal light on that lighthouse ideally too you'd want to be here when that when the light is on so at the moment you can see the light is actually off uh, so you'd like to come here uh, pre sunrise uh, and capture and capture the, 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 the light shining through there uh, through the lighthouse uh, and then and then obviously with the water coming through as well. So it's about 7.30 right now. So sunrise is definitely, uh, is, the sun's definitely risen and uh, it's almost game over for me now. I'm about to head back to the car, back up to those stairs. Uh, but yeah, I just quickly wanted to explain what I was going through here and what you should look out for when you do come here for yourself. And also for this type of shot to work as well, I mean, you would probably I'll just spin you around here you probably want to have some water here on the foreground as well uh, so I do have one of those shots but I might not a what I might end up doing not enough coffee in the morning what I might end up doing is blending in two shots one for the foreground for the white for the white water to come through on the rocks and the second one for the actual uh, pinnacle of the wave coming through here so I, if the shot works, uh, I'll post it up. Let me know. Put a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and until the next one, guys, I'll speak to you soon. Have a good day.